I hate change. Oh, good. Here, you can have some of this change, because I really don't need it. I don't need hey, it. Hey, mister. Yes? Got any Smith Brothers cough drop? I'm sorry. The Smith Brothers died this morning. They, they won't be making any cough drops anymore. Oh, come on. No, I have the Smith sisters, Latoya and Janet. You know, uh, they, were, they were much more popular than the actual brothers. Oh, come on. You caught me. All right, here, I'll make change for you. I'm very good at making change. Thanks a you lot. You know, I'm really excellent at making change. I make change. You know, people come here, they, they, they don't even want to buy anything. They go, Norman, make change for us. Just, just, here's a dollar. I want buying something for 50 cents. Let's see if we can catch them. Hey, Norman, how's it going? Oh, just, just great, Ray, just great. It's like a religious experience working here. Just to be giving stale candy out all day and just breathing in bus fumes, it's like I died and went to heaven. Uh -huh. Did you hear they're letting Lucy out today? Yes, yes, I did hear that. I still believe she's better off in the hospital. She's emotionally incapable of taking care of herself. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Freud. I'll tell you something else about Lucy. She's running around the streets, cursing people out, talking to herself, just like you. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Funny, funny, funny. Bob Hope is delivering newspapers to me. Uh -huh. Just give me the papers and leave me alone with your, your one-liners he's got to do for me. That's all I need. I, I need a comedian here delivering my papers. Uh, I'll take these three. Oh, good. You want an award? How about some change? Yeah, yeah, here's your change. Here's your change. I don't give bags. <laughs> so I go out last night. Yes. I met this Japanese woman. I really liked her. She yeah. had a friend, too. We needed you. Oh, you needed me? Yes, yeah, we yes. needed well, you. Well, of course, I do so well with Japanese women. I do incredible. I mean, I tell them I hate Truman, and they rip their clothes off. I tell them I love Pearl Harbor. They just, they want to have orgies with me. They just attack me. They can't help it. Hey, move the truck, will ya? So look, I'm supposed to see them again tonight. You want to come? Okay, let's make a definite plan. If I'm there, I'm there. And if not, then I'm not. Mr. Commitment. Okay, yes, I'll yes. be right back. Yes, because I think that's a good enough plan. If I'm there, I'm there. Yeah, I'm going to go on a blind date with Ray because he finds two girls. I'm sure I'll really get lucky. I'm going to meet him. He finds two girls, so I'm going to go on a blind date. Excuse, with excuse me, sir. Do you yeah. know how to get to the Waverly Theater? Uh, you're yeah, very close. See, I told you, Dad. What are you, a moron? I'm making a delivery. That is where the Rocky Horror Picture Show is, right? Uh, I don't know. Let's look in the paper. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. how much is that? Oh, please, just go, go ahead and look at one. We're from Chicago. Oh, Chicago, yes. Uh, great town, Chicago. It, it, it's my kind of town. Chicago. It, it's a town that won't let you down. And Denver. Oh, Denver. Denver, I think of as a great salad town. And then Pittsburgh. Oh, had a heck of a time in the Berg. Pittsburgh is more of a, well, a cab town. Norman, think about tonight. Oh, yeah. Hold your breath. <laughs> my stand for a couple of minutes. I, I'm going down to Smilers. Gee, that's quite a responsibility, but I think I might be able to handle it. Good. Oh, listen, Norman, rumor hath it that Gail is on the cover of a magazine this month. Yes, I'll show it to you. Oh, uh, I've looked at it enough. I can't, I'll tell you, if I look at it anymore, it'll just depress me. I... Wow. Boy, she is really too much. Oh, she's spectacular. Well, I, I just hope it doesn't go to her head, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it does happen, you know. Well, that happened to me. Yeah. You know, uh, before I got this newsstand, I was uh, pretty much a regular guy. You know, I was just a regular, likable type of guy, and then all of a sudden I get the newsstand, people go, Norman, you've changed. You're different now. And I would just ignore people. I wouldn't return people's phone calls. I, I was, I became pretty pig-headed, all in all. So you want anything from Smilers? Well, let me see. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll have some coffee. It makes my life go faster. A coffee? It, it makes my life go faster. Did you get that line? A coffee. It makes my life go faster. Uh, get me a coffee. It makes my life... If Morty Zippin were alive today, he'd kill for a line like that. Hey, Norman, Norman, give me, give me that coffee line. How much 
you want for it. I'm sorry, Morty. I'm sorry. I can't give you the coffee line. That line about how coffee makes my life go faster, it just, I can't part with it. You're breaking my heart, Morty, but I can't part with that line. Come on, Norman, Norman, I'll pay you for the line, okay? I'll pay you. Two hundred dollars for the coffee line, Norman. I need it for my breakfast, Hunk. Do you understand that? You know that piece I do about how I'm afraid of eggs now because of the cholesterol, huh? And I can't drink orange juice after I brush my teeth. Well, this is the topper. It's the line I've been waiting for. I'm sorry, Marty, but it's final. I can't give you the coffee line. The only reason I have customers coming to my stand is because they think maybe he'll do that line about how coffee makes his life go faster. People come from miles around to hear that line. I will not part with that line. Line. No! Line. No! Line. 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 Cheryl, you're kidding. It's what I heard. Beverly's going to Nicaragua? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is she gonna do there? I don't know. Work with the peasants, I guess. The breast savers in a news day. Come on, has she got some hot tamale or something down there she's seeing, hmm? No. She's just gonna work with the peasants. <laughs> what kind of work? Who knows? Farming. Farming? Where's she gonna stay? Hmm? I don't know. I guess in the Pueblo. <laughs> what, on a futon? I think on a bed of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Gail, I wanted to apologize about last night, but I felt the need to be alone. That's all right, Norman. I did some sculpting. Can you stop by tonight, please? Oh, tonight is, is bad. I, I'm, I'm giving a lecture on wine tasting at the Adult Education Center. Well, you could stop by afterwards. Oh, no. I promised the gang we'd all go out for a cappuccino. Oh. oh. Well, look, if, if it'll wipe that little powder off your face, then I'll skip the cappuccino. Great. I'll see you later. Hi, Hi. Gail. These are for you. Thank you, Norman. The lecture really went great. You know, it warms my heart to see that young people are taking such a strong interest in wine tasting. What, what is something the matter? Norman, my brother was in a car accident today. He's in the hospital. Do I smell soup? I have to go see him. Right now? Well, the visiting hours end at 9 o'clock. Look, can I tell you something? Speaking as a person who's been in several really bad car accidents, I, I can tell you that the last thing that a person in a car accident wants is loved ones mulling around the hospital. Trust me, your brother would much rather be alone. He'll appreciate it. Look, I've already spoken to him, Norman. He's expecting me. So does this mean I'm not going to get my shiatsu massage? If I'm not in bed by 11, I go home. He's just a friend. I'm standing on Broadway. I found a guy's hand in my pocket. I said, what do you want? He said, I want a match. I said, why don't you ask me? Yeah, I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Fellow walks into a psychiatrist. He says, nobody talks to me. He says, next. I solved a parking problem. I bought a parked car. A little old lady walks up to a cop. I was attacked. I was attacked. He says, when? She's 20 years ago. So what are you telling me now? She says, I like to talk about it once in a while. You look tired. Go to my room and rest. Look, I really got to go. Do you need a lift or something? You keep a car in the city? Uh-huh. I, I got to go. Well, I hope your brother feels better. Caved in. They're letting that.
that homeless woman on the street again. Oh, yeah, yeah, that uh, Lucy. What's yeah. her name? Well, maybe they couldn't prove there was anything wrong with her. <laughs> hey, you're sleeping outside in the winter. There's something wrong with you. Listen, it's getting to be like Calcutta here. So many people are asking for money. How do you decide who to give it to? I always give it to anybody who looks incapable of driving a cab. Why don't they all just move to Florida? Wouldn't they be more comfortable there? How are they going to get there? They could hitch. Who's going to pick them up? You mean the reason they don't leave the city is because of transportation? Maybe, instead of putting them in hospitals, they should put them on a bus. That's a terrific idea, yeah. darling. I'm going to write my congressman. Oh, that's good. Thanks. Put them on a bus. I can't work here anymore. Norman, have you seen Leonard? No! Tell him to come upstairs. His lunch is ready. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Norman. Oh, hi, Gail. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful day. It's a good, it's a good kite-flying day. It's a beautiful day to go to the park and fly a kite and hold hands and fly a kite and then, like, uh, run around and get hit in the face with a Frisbee. Can I have a chapstick? Cherry, please? Yeah, cherry. Oh, cherry flavored. Yeah, that's my... I, I eat about five of these a day. Yeah, so, so what are you doing today? I've got to run some errands. I'm going to pick up my dry cleaning. The usual. I'll see okay. you later, Norman. And don't eat too many and uh, kite... Uh, oh, that was... For, first, first I have to do that stupid uh, eat five of them a day, and then, then that whole run about the, the park, uh, yeah, like, I, 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 the kite flying, the frisbee was very stupid, and yeah, yeah, women, women really go for a man who hates parks. She'll be back in, she'll be begging for me. She'll oh, just be begging boy, for me. what a snob she turned out to be. You'd think she could at least say hello. I told you that would happen. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're usually so smooth with women. There you are. Thank you. Uh, here, let me take care oh, of no, that. Oh, no, 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 that's all right. I tell you, I'll, I'll just take a paper. We'll call it even. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, look at this. They're finally letting Lucy out. I mean, you'd think if they were going to put somebody away, they would have taken Steinbrenner. Then they would have been doing a service to humanity. I mean, if, if Steinbrenner owned a soccer team in South America, he'd be history by now. I mean, they riot sure. down there. You know, in Paraguay, it's like having 80,000 inmates in the stands. In Europe, they have to play with no fans in the stadium. That's how sick they are. You know something, Norm? Someday I'd like to be in a riot. You know, just run around the soccer stadium like an idiot. Norm, would you, would you like to be in a riot sometime? Yes, Harvey. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd like to be in a riot. Yes. Listen, Norm, if, if you want to go have lunch, I mean, I could watch the stand for a while. I do want to have lunch. I don't know if I want you watching my stand, necessarily. You, you think you can do it without burning the stand down? Sure, no problem. All right, thank you. Sure. You'll, you'll, you'll just be careful. Go eat. Oh, thank you. Glad to do it. I really appreciate this. Leaving Harvey in charge of the newsstand, that's really smart. I can't believe that. I mean, it, it was a mistake. Can, can I help you? Like five minutes no. before the Titanic with that guy. Now for a delicious, uh, nutritious lunch. Oh, boy. Listen, Julius, I, I didn't get to be one of the most respected and influential businessmen from here to Hawaii by sitting on a five million dollar deal. I mean, this is nonsense, Julius. Norman, they can't do business like that. Sometimes these things just take time. Thank you. You idiot! I specifically asked for the apple for later. This place has definitely gone downhill. Well, enough of that. Julius, perhaps 
if you'd like to join Courtney and I up at the summer home this weekend. Can't do it this weekend, Norman. We're going up to the Cape. Oh, the Cape. I spent last summer on the Cape with Itzhak Perlman and his lovely wife. I didn't know you knew them. Oh, yes. I've known them for years. Lovely, lovely people. You want some? No, I'm good. Oh, I got plenty. Listen, Norman, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Sure. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to be straight with you. Only way to be. We've uh, had some cutbacks, and we're going to have to let you go. You're letting me go? I'm sorry, Norman, my hands are tied. How was it? Franklin party, uh, dear boy. Straight ahead. Hello. Norman, my friend, dear friend, good friend. So glad to see you. Well, what's uh, what's good here today? Tuna. Uh, listen, I am totally OD'd on tuna. Please. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Bye. Uh, look, look, Julius, how? I'll go back on the road, okay? I'll, I'll go to Boston. Boston's a great town. It's a great town. It's a great bean town. It's a good rowing town. Norman, I think you ought to take a rest for a while. Listen, you little snot nose! Your father made promises to me! Promises were made over this table! What, 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 what? Biff, Happy, my boys, what are you two doing here? You were talking to yourself, Pop. I know, I've been doing that a lot lately. Pop, you know, maybe you should take a rest for a while. Maybe you should think about opening up a newsstand. Newsstand? You meet a lot of interesting people. Newsstand. You know, I, I really think you'd enjoy newsstand. something like that. Newsstand. 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 Ah! Oh, run a newsstand. Thank God it was only a nightmare. Ugh. Ugh. Gotta see how Harvey is doing. Oh, was that scary. Run a newsstand. Harvey, is something the matter? What? Hey! This ain't a library, you know. Oh, my. Listen, Norman, he's been standing there for ten minutes. Oh, so why don't you go over and take a punch at well, him? Would you believe me? He wasn't going to buy anything. I could tell. Oh, Judge, oh, so you, you should have slapped him. Okay, okay, all, right, all, right. all right, you want the 250? I don't want the 250. I'll give you the 250. Go back to your all right, I'm going I'm back amazed. to my hot dog stand. I'm amazed I still have a new stand here. I was here. just trying to help I leave out. you alone for a few minutes. Back to the hot dog Five man. minutes. He's hey, ready to punch one of my manus. Let it, let it. Uh, your mother was screaming for you before. Something about, I don't know, lunch or something. Gail! Hey, right. Gail, Hi, how's Gail. it going? You see, I did a few dumb jokes about the park. Now she hates me. It's not you. It you. is me. It's not you. Beautiful women don't want to make eye contact with anyone. They don't even put their names in information. Why is that? The more attractive the woman, the less chance she'll find her name in the directory. But the desperate people, they always put their name in information. Oh, well, the desperate yeah. people, they enclose it in a little <laughs> rectangle like a, like a movie is yeah. opening up. And they walk real slowly, try to make eye contact, hoping someone will talk to them. They travel, they take dancing right. lessons, they take cooking lessons. They'll spend their money on anything. They consider plastic surgery. You're right. Hair transplants, exercise. You yes. ever see them running in the park? Oh, every day. You feel sorry for them. Because you know it's not going to make oh, a difference. Oh, it won't do anything. You know they know, and they know you yes. know. But see, the only chance they what got, they've got to become hopeless. Hopeless. So because they're they, desperate to hopeless. Hopeless because then they don't care. And if you don't care, that indifference becomes attractive. Yeah, well, you see, if you're indifferent, then immediately That's people right. go, oh, he's yeah. indifferent to me. Uh, you see, know. Norman, you're right, and I need my cigarettes. Oh, like, yeah. Marlboro's, Marlboro's. I thought you'd given these up already. I can't. I'm hooked. Leonard! What? Get the no TV guy! Jump! What? He said jump! I'll give the two of you a good stack across the face. Yeah, you better give me the two. Right, right. Here it is. Here's your 
says your money, money, money. Money, okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow then. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, Take care. good. Boy, I was just thinking about you. Hello, Norman. Penny, how are you? Give me a favor on Double Park. Give me a peanut butter cup, will you? I'm in a hurry. No, no, I, I can't give you any peanut butter cups because, you know, you're supposed to be on a diet. Come on, give me the cup, will you? All right, look, look, look. I can sell you one, but let's say I were to be looking in the other direction and one were to disappear and I then turned around and saw 50 cents lying here and I didn't know who put it there, we could do, could happen. Oh look, a flying saucer. All my attention is over there. None of my attention is here. Gee, all my attention was drawn there. And look, there's 50, there's a dollar. You took two, he took two. You took, hey, hey, you were supposed to take one. You... All right, I know where you live. I know where you live. Boy, he takes, he takes, I can't believe he did a thing like that. Oh, it's that one from Juilliard with the classical, I don't know, guitar or banjo. so difficult that if you take a pair of sunglasses out just to put them back it's common courtesy you know you take something out you put it back in its place don't even try to kiss me hello mr lips p.s i'm unavailable oh well gee lucy you're unavailable oh well good thing you warned me because i was really seriously thinking about taking you out on a date where I put on a jacket and a tie and you put on 10 sweaters and 20 pairs of socks and then, you know, just visit every subway stop in town. Shut up, Norman Bates. Norman Bates. Yeah, you didn't even come and see me in the hospital. Yeah, I had my own room, TV, a bed, oh. P.S. Country Club. Oh, a bed, a bed. Well, well, there you go. Yeah, that must have been pretty awful to have a bed. No, you want to sleep out on the sidewalk because a sidewalk is so much more healthy and more comfortable. A sidewalk is much better for your back. Don't tell me, what else did they taught you with, a roof? Like you wouldn't believe. 15 feet high. And they brought me some nice meatloaf on a tray. Meatloaf I don't like. It's it's like a bunch of hamburgers that got into a car accident. Ooh, it was delicious with some nice mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are good. You, you had meatloaf, you had mashed potatoes. Why didn't you stay there? Norman, you know I don't belong there. That's for people who are sick, like you. I told him about you, Norman. I said, what are you wasting your time with me for? There's a man who owns a newsstand who's a menace to society, and if you don't lock him up soon, there's gonna be some serious trouble. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a menace to society. I'm a menace, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, you're gonna pick up the paper, it'll say, newsstand owner kills woman with a bag of pretzels. Yeah, yeah, I'm a real menace, yeah, that's it. I'm a, I'm a menace to society. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat someone to death with a stick of gum. That, that, that's the kind of menace that I am. So I'm gonna take a piece of gum and knock them senseless with it. What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What, what, what? You, you see something here you like? Ask for it. Ah, boy. Like I'm, I'm just making a profit handing things out here. I missed you, Norman. Yeah, well, just, just, just try to remember that, that you just can't come back here every single day and because eventually, eventually I'm going to put a stop. Okay, I could be nice up to a point, but then eventually, boy, when I put my foot down, that's it. Hey, Norman. What is it? So, so what's happening? What's happening? I've won the $50 million lottery. I'm no, just trying to figure... No, no, about tonight. You want to see this Japanese woman or what? I, I can't. Listen, I I'm can't. taking the two I'm of them just, to Marabella's. too busy. What? I, I, I'm meeting the president for lunch. He what? just called These me. These are really great girls. No, you're going to yeah. love them. Yeah, well, I, I know they're great girls. I mean, what, what am I going to talk to them about? Who said anything about talking? That's she doesn't I mean. speak a word of English. She doesn't speak English? Not a word. No English. Not a syllable. She and not hello or nothing, goodbye. Nothing. No. No. None of that. No. no. Nothing. Nothing. Not, none not, of that. Not no. which way's the ladies? No. Or, no none English of that. No. She doesn't. Well, 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 mine well, does. Yeah. Mine yeah. Yours English, does, yeah. Mine doesn't yours speak any English. Visiting from Tokyo. Yeah. She's visiting from. But no English. Not a word. Okay. What this time? Is for life uh, uh, what, what, what time do I? Nine o'clock. 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 Nine o'clock
What should I wear? Uh, that, that's good. That's with a, a good color for you. Yeah, maybe with, with a, a jacket. nice jacket. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. So nine, nine, nine o'clock, maybe ten. Bring to some nine. money. Bring some yeah, money. All right, twenty-five dollars in change. That's good. I'll see you no later. No English at all. It's just, just I can say anything I say to her. You know, I want to stick a fork in your head. Oh, that's very nice. That that's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. It's just perfect. How much for the lifesavers? Uh, fifty-five cents. Fifty-five cents for the lifesavers? Yes, they're fifty-five cents. They're fifty-five cents. I've got a big scheme in mind. I got a big scheme. See, I'm charging fifty-five cents for lifesavers. That way, I can invest that fifty-five cents, and then that will become one million dollars within a week.